Welcome back everyone to another Helldivers 2 video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of the fastest ways to farm super credits fast and easy and the great thing is there's no requirements but there is going to be a couple recommendations for this. So just starting off with this of course for our recommendations the first thing I recommend is any type of grenade more specifically an impact grenade. So if you make your way inside your ship and you go over to your armory you want to go over to grenade and just select each one. Now, I recommend Impact Grenade because basically with this grenade, it actually explodes on contact. And for this, we're doing a bit of a speed run. So having something like that is going to make it really efficient and quick. And once you have that out of the way, you kind of just want to select whichever weapon you want to it. Now, as for your armory, I recommend wearing light armor for this one. Because the difficulty we're going to be setting it to is going to be trivial. Or it's actually going to be easy, sorry. We're going to be doing this on easy mode. And so because of that... We really don't need to be wearing medium armor or heavy armor. And because we're wanting to speed run this as fast as possible, we want to have more speed and more stamina regen. Once you have your armor set, you really don't need to change your helmet or cape as there's not going to be a major difference when you wear them. Some of them do have additional bonuses, but none of them for this method we're going to be doing. So once you have everything set and you're ready to go, what you then want to go ahead and do is make your way over to your Galactic Warboard inside your ship. From here, what you then want to go ahead and do is set your difficulty to either easy or trivial. Now, for this one, I always recommend easy as it's the last difficulty where you only get one mission to complete to complete the entire operation. So, I always recommend easy mode. Now, the next thing we're going to be looking for is either going to be eliminating Brood Commander, which is what this is going to look like, or it's going to be eliminate Broadcast Tower. Which I'll go ahead and see if I could find an example here. So I was able to find a mission. Now for this one I did have to set it to trivial mode. In order to find either the illegal broadcast or eliminate brood commander. Sometimes that's just going to happen which is totally fine. So you see here the area or the radius size is actually really nice. So there's going to be a ton of points of interest for this one. So from here just go ahead and select it. After that, make your way over to your hell pod, and the last thing you need to do is set your spawn location, or where you're going to spawn at on the map. Now, for this one, because we're going to be basically making a big circle around everywhere, I always recommend either just doing any coordinate or any side from, like, the border. So, whichever one you want to do, so I'll start here, and then I'll just make a big old circle around it. As for this part, I really don't have any recommendations, just whatever you're kind of used with the loadout. Now, the one thing I do recommend is going to be your booster. So, I recommend the stamina enhancement for this one, because this actually increases your stamina capacity as well as your recovery. That way, you can actually run faster and not have to take so long having to wait for that stamina regen. So once you have everything set and ready to go, just go ahead and start it up. So once you lay it down, what you're looking for is any type of point of interest. So the point of interest is going to be a question mark on your map here. And so you can see, for example, I have one just over here. Now, I don't think this is one... Okay, so this one actually did have a bunker, thankfully. So this is what your grenade's actually going to be used for. So what you want to go ahead and do is take your grenade and throw it at it, and it will automatically blow up. So it looks like for this one, we didn't find super credits, so we're just going to have to keep on exploring until we eventually do. Now, do keep in mind, this is all gluck and gambling. Sometimes there's going to be boards that have a ton of super credits. Sometimes there's going to be some that just have none. You just got to be very lucky when it comes down to this part. So these are beams shooting up in the sky like this yellow thing, which you can actually see from a pretty far distant is going to be hell pods. So once you walk up close to it, all you're having to do is walk up to it. Well, if I could figure out a way to enter inside. There you go. Then after this interact, your character will do a salute. And it looks like we were able to find super credits. And it looks like we got 10 in total. So it looks like this one also contained a bunker. So let's go and see what we have here. So it looks like this time we didn't get any super credits. But we did get medals. Now I do have to say, super credits is probably going to be the one we want to look for. But warband medals are also really good as well. So it looks like for this one we collected two. Which is very surprising because at this difficulty... You normally only get one, so the fact that we got two is pretty nice. So this right here is our objective point. So if you're doing Terminator Little Broadcast Tower, once you find this, all you have to do is take a grenade, throw it at it, it'll blow up, and that's the entire mission. It's as easy as that, and from here we can just go and keep exploring. Alright, let's see what you have for us. Okay, it looks like this time we found some more super credits and 10 in total. So this one also got another bunker. Let's go and see. Okay, so I can see off the bat we got two super credits for this one. Awesome. So we got 20 in total. Not bad for just one bunker. So it looks like we found most of the points of interest that we can find. And so from here, all we're doing is going over to the extraction points and just completing the mission. 
Now, another thing that you can do, which is kind of frowned upon, but it is also another choice, because I do see some people comment in the comment section, even though I made videos about it before. You can just kind of quit the game, and then from here, you'll still keep your silver credits and your medals, but you won't have to actually go and extract, which does take a couple minutes. So either one you want to do is just whatever, but I always like playing the mission. That way I'm actually helping out instead of just like force quitting and kind of just abandoning the mission. And there we go. We went ahead and completed the mission. Definitely was not fun having three fire tornadoes circling that area the entire time. But we did go ahead and complete it anyway. And so I don't know how long this exactly took. I'm assuming it's going to be between four to five minutes. So we'll go ahead and see you. So it looks like it took us 11 minutes. Okay. I'm a little bit off by a lot, actually. So, of course, we get XP and requisition points every time you complete any of these missions. And so, for this, we actually got 40 super credits, which is not bad. So, now what we're going to do is just do one more mission just to show you that this is a really good farming method. And then, after that, I'll go ahead, add up super credits, and that'll be it. So, we found another mission. Now, this one is trivial mode. I was actually trying to find one on a different planet. But as you can see here, the other two planets, most of the map you're going to see is going to contain water. So it's actually not worth doing any of these two other planets. So we're having to stick with the same one. And so we're going to be focusing on the Illuminate Broadcast Tower, which I just found. Is this the same one? Yes, it is. So from here, we're going to go ahead and select the mission. Thankfully, we don't have to actually wait that long. We can go straight to our hell pod since we're on the same planet already. And then after this, just go ahead and spawn in the map. Okay, so it looks like our first one, we ended up finding super credits. And of course, we got 10. Now, we're going to go ahead and try to make a big circle around, even though some of these are like very close by, like that one, for example. Okay, so it looks like this one, we ended up finding a bunker. So let's go ahead and blow that up. I think I went a little too close there. But it looks like this time we ended up finding silver credits. So, so far, we're doing really good on this board, at least. And we've only had, yeah, we've only went through two. And we ended up getting super credits on both of them. I ended up forgetting about these completely. So, these are going to be two-player bunkers. Meaning that one player has to be on each side of this platform here. And they have to press the button around the same time in order to open the bunker. So, if you're doing this as a solo player, you won't be able to open this bunker. I'm actually very surprised because usually you see one or two of them in every map. I'm very surprised I didn't see one on the last board, but yeah, that's what they're for. They're just two players. Okay, so I think we've explored everything here, so now we're just going to go to the extraction zone, complete it, and then I'll add up both of the super credits we got for the first mission as well as the second one, and then I'll try to add up the time it took to complete them both. And just like this, we were able to complete this. I think we took a lot longer than the last one, but we got a ton of super credits from this, so I am curious to see how long it took in total. So it looks like it took, okay, so about the same amount of time as the first one. And then of course for this, you get the same amount of XP and requisition points, and there we go. So let me go ahead and add up the total amount of super credits as well as how long it took to do this. Which now seeing this, it probably just took a total of 25 minutes. But I'll still go ahead and add it up anyway. So now that I add everything with the first mission, second mission, how many super credits we got for each of them as well as how long it took to do this. So as for our first mission, it took a total of 11 minutes and 51 seconds. And for this, we got a total of 40 super credits. As for the second mission, we spent 11 minutes and 58 seconds, and for this one, we got 50 super credits, meaning that we got 90 super credits in 24 minutes, which is honestly really good. And so there you guys go. That is your Helldivers 2 video for farming super credits fast and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more Helldivers 2 videos and content just like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.